These are the nicest homes you can get in Houston, Texas under a million dollars. In fact, this builder that we're about to check out and that builder right over there are both some of the nicest builders that I have seen build in any master plan communities here in Houston. And the cool part about today's video is they're not just building in one community. We're actually gonna be checking out an opportunity to build with this builder and that builder right over there in three of my favorite master plan communities in the Houston area. If they were offering these lots when I built my home two and a half years ago, I 100% would have jumped on this. In fact, I actually just sold a home to a client on these brand new sections in my neighborhood last week with this builder. And I actually have another home under contract with the other builder we're gonna be checking out. This model home and that model home opened up this week. So this is gonna be your first look. You haven't seen this builder. In fact, we haven't even shown them on our channel and these are brand new floor plans that you have not seen before, especially that second builder, because like I said, it is fully custom. So let's go inside and let's check out our first house. All right, so the builder that we're checking out first is J. Patrick Homes, and they are a semi-custom builder, and they build all around the Houston area, but like I said, they are actually brand new to the three neighborhoods that we are checking out. And right when you come into this home, this is a big two-story, and it's really well-appointed. They use this as their sales office, but this is actually the home office. Being that they're a semi-custom builder, what that means is you're actually going to pick from one of their floor plans. And they actually have floor plans starting around 2,900 square feet in these 70 foot products and they go all the way up to 4,600 square feet. But the one we're checking out right now is a two story right at 3,900 square feet. And you have a formal dining right when you walk in, but I do like that it's still very open. But flip around here, they just had their grand opening like I was telling you about. So this is gonna be a little bit distracting, but check out this staircase. I mean, this is gorgeous. You probably have 20 foot ceilings right here in this rotunda. And check that out really quick. Keith, I can't fit back there, so go back there by yourself. But this is actually a really good size half bath, and don't get taken out by those balloons. And then I love that they've got the real wood flooring here, and they matched it with the real wood tread. So that's really nice. They went with the lighter color banisters. Very modern, very clean looking home. I know you saw the exterior whenever we were outside, but more that modern black and white. But come in here and just see how much this home opens up. It's really gorgeous. You've got your your family living room down here, and then it really opens up into these kind of two-story um, two story ceilings. You got the massive fan, that's gorgeous. The upper windows to bring in more natural light over this huge covered back patio. Now, we've been seeing these a lot lately. This one is actually upgraded. I will say this looks very nice. It is massive, but these are electric fireplaces. And I'm curious, are you wanting an electric fireplace or are you like me? you want the original gas. You can get gas with the two builders that we're checking out today, but I've been seeing them do this in their models and I'm not so sure about it. So tell me what you think. Now, flipping around over here, this kitchen is gorgeous. And what I really like that they did is they matched the kitchen counters with the backsplash. So instead of using like a tile or a subway tile, they actually took the counters all the way up. And I love the pop of blue right here, a really ornate vent hood. And then they also took the cabinets all the way up to the ceilings you gotta check out these appliances. This is an upgraded appliance package. These are the Cafe Series appliances, but how cool is that? You've got the double oven, and then come back here, I wanna show you something. So not only do they have the two-tone navy cabinets, you got your microwave hidden back here, but you got yourself a little coffee bar, and then massive pantry. Really good size, plenty of storage. And then coming on over into here, uh, your deep farmhouse sink. This is a white quartz sink. We have this at our house, I really like it. Highly recommend it. And then you've got your little kitchenette area over here. You've got the formal dining, but you got bar stools. This island isn't as big as we've seen in some 3,900 square foot homes. So I do want to point that out. Um, it can seat three bar stools, not four. Not that that's a huge deal, but just would like to point that out. And this is what's sweet about this floor plan. Massive back patio. They threw down some wood look tile to just kind of spice it up. And this is a four side brick home. Um, and you can see that they did the white painted brick with the black windows, super modern. I feel like this is the style. This has been the style for a couple years now, but you got the black contrasting with the white, looks really nice. And then come over here. This is actually an upgrade. Whenever you build with semi-custom builders, you actually, when you go to contract, um, this is exactly what my clients did a week ago. You pick the floor plan you want, but then they'll have structural upgrades. So this patio, for example, on a floor plan, the patio might be half this size, but you can do a structural upgrade when you buy to build these homes and extend these patios. And this outdoor kitchen is gonna be one of those structural upgrades. And so you'll have a base price on the home. Let's just say the base price is 700,000. Uh, by the time you're done you know, blowing up the back patio, adding the outdoor kitchen, doing the bay windows, 
adding additional media rooms. You could spend another 50 to 75,000 just in structural upgrades, but those are the things that you want in the home. Let's be honest, those are the really cool bells and whistles. Now, I will say this, this is a good representation of a 70 foot lot. So when we're talking about lot width here, this is a true 70 foot lot. And you can see um, that the depths are gonna vary on a, on a lot of the lots that we're gonna show you today. But what's really cool, this is a model home, but most of the lots that we're gonna be, um, that you're gonna be able to build this floor plan on or with this builder and the other one we're gonna show you, they actually back up to woods, which is really nice. But you can see how much space you have. You got plenty of room here for a pool, back patio, you could do trampoline, play set. So these are those lot sizes where I, I feel like you really start to get the space that you want. One of the biggest complaints we get from clients looking to move here from out of state into these master plan communities is they love everything about it except the lot sizes. And it's whenever you get into these 70s that they really start to open up. Now, whenever you come back through the living room, we're gonna head over to the master, but I want you to pop your head in here because this actually connects through, this is the laundry room. It's got plenty of space. It's not one of those crammed laundry rooms, but that actually connects to the three car garage. And this isn't a three car tandem garage. This is actually a true three car garage. And you can fit that on these 70 foot lots. And so I've, I'm a big golf cart fan. I know you've probably seen our golf cart video, but uh, you can have golf carts in the three neighborhoods that we're checking out today. And what's great about them is you're gonna have your own golf cart garage. And so you can still park two cars in your garage. This is what I was talking about with the structural upgrades. When you have the ability to bump out these bay windows, which is an upgrade, totally worth it. Look at all the light that it brings in. And it really gives you this nice seating area as opposed to not having the seating area. Um, comfortably accommodates a king size bed, which is great. And guys, before we go in and check out this bathroom, I have to say this. We heard you guys in the comments in our last video over in Avalon, Taylor Morrison, the builder, thought it would be a good idea to take bathtubs out of here. I don't know why they thought that. They didn't know. But we heard you. We're gonna show you the biggest bathtub that I've seen on any home tour that we have had. This is a gorgeous um, bathroom, but guys, I just gotta get in it. This is the biggest bathtub, seriously. The, your water bill in this thing would be literally atrocious. I mean, this is nice. This is, this is like a coffin, Keith. Anyways, all that to say, if you want a bathtub, you got it right here. Now, one thing I noticed, I do maybe wish that this was glass. That would be kind of cool to open it up. But pop around there, Keith, show them just how massive this shower is. This is a true two-person shower. Um, not that, you know, with kids, you have, you have time for two people to actually take a shower, at least in my season of life. Um, we're lucky if we get to take a shower with little kids running around. But in the event that you do, you have room for two people, which is pretty cool. You got your little toilet room over here. You do have your dual vanity, and I love what they did with these cabinets. One of the cool things about model homes, I didn't even notice these. Look at these, these things are massive. I've never seen these in a bathroom. I'm not sure if I like them or not. Let me know in the comments if you like those. Um, but anyways, I love the, the true wood tones they're bringing back into homes. It's not that kind of dark brown dated wood that they used to have. Um, and then look at this, really good sized closet. Um, yeah, I would, say, I would say for a 3,900 square foot home, this is an adequately sized closet. Obviously with these semi-custom builders, you could actually upgrade the closet um, and do more built-ins or customize the closets, which is really cool. And then what my client's doing with the other builder we're gonna go check out, they did a fully custom closet. So when you, when you build fully custom, you can literally get everything that you could want and more. Now, I didn't mention that this is actually a five bedroom home. So you had your office downstairs and you had your master bedroom downstairs, but this upstairs is huge. In fact, we'll go that way here in a second. I want you to see plenty of space here in the game room. And look at this, this is that downstairs living room. This is that massive fan I was telling you about. But what I like is it's got kind of the overflow into the living room to give the downstairs a grand feel. But what I like is that the actual upstairs game room isn't spilling over into the living room. So you kind of have more of your own space. And a lot of times in these two stories around 3,900 square feet, I feel like you only get half of an upstairs, which kind of bugs me, you know, when I was growing up, friends that had two story houses, you had like a full first floor and a full second floor. And these days with them doing these spiral staircases, you usually only get like half of a second floor. But here, I feel like you truly get that full second floor because you actually have four bedrooms up here and this isn't even one of them. So check this out. This is a theater room, okay? This is the real deal. It's got the kind of two tiered leveling. Um, you could do whatever you want in here, love sacks, sofa, 
but I love this. Um, really good size. I think they have like a 70, 75 inch TV. You could go even bigger. You could go projector, but this is a true media room. Um, it's gonna be pre-wired for surround sound, which is awesome. And then I love that it doesn't share a wall with any of the bedrooms. So it's not gonna keep, keep any of the younger kids up. And what's really great, Keith, this is the first time we've seen this. This, this is a king size bed in an upstairs guest room. So for reference, these, these, these rooms are pretty massive. You've got 10 foot ceilings in here, uh, gorgeous you know, windows bringing in tons of natural light. Now I just noticed this, and this is how it is in my house. These windows are black on the outside, but they're white on the inside. So they're not truly all black windows. Um, from the interior, they're white outside, looking in, they're black. And then you actually have your own little uh, ensuite bathroom here. For the moment of truth, let's see if they gave us a good size closet. Not bad, not bad. It's actually pretty wide. Not a walk-in, but not bad. Pretty good size. Oh, really quick, this is important. People always wonder what these are. In any home, whether it's a custom home or even like a $300,000 home, they have usually what's called a whole home access panel. And inside of here, this is where they're going to run your Wi-Fi into the home. And then everything kind of runs from here. So you're gonna have your routers, your modems, you run your Wi-Fi from here, security system, and all of the above. And so they actually run the cabling, the fiber optic from the outside up through a tube into that closet right there. And it's usually in a guest room closet. So we've got our second upstairs bedroom. So third bedroom in total. And once again, very impressed. I mean, the space in here is huge. And I actually like that they've got some dimension to this room. I mean, you've got a lot of corners. It's not just a big sheetrock box. And I like the green, I like what they did. Once again, another ensuite bath. These are gorgeous bathrooms too. Really good size. I'm, I'm loving it. Now, we still have a whole other side of the house upstairs. We'll go this way. And this is a queen size bed. So this is bigger than a full, plenty of room, huge nightstands, bigger walk-in closet. Check that one out. Plenty of room there. And then on this side of the house, these two bedrooms are actually gonna share this bathroom, but it's got dual vanity, uh, totally upgraded tile, backsplash, all of the above. And then this is a full size bed with huge nightstands. And then out the window, one thing I noticed, I don't know if we noticed it when we were on the outside, they actually have sections of the roof that are metal roof. It's just those upgraded little touch points. Now come in here and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what these homes are actually priced at. It is such a beautiful day out here. We had to come back outside. And like I told you, these are brand new model homes. So they just did the landscaping and it looks gorgeous. It's springtime here. And yes, we do get good weather here in Texas. It's just hot in the summers, but spring and fall are gorgeous. And what else is gorgeous? is the price of this home. I told you that these are the nicest homes you can get under a million dollars, but that might've confused you because this home is actually not anywhere near a million dollars. This home in the neighborhood that the model is in right now is for sale for $700,000. Let that sink in. This home that we just saw, 3,900 square feet for $700,000. Now, yes, the model has a little bit more bells and whistles, but if you built the model as is, you're probably still gonna come in right under $800,000. And now I need to tell you where we're at today because you're probably wondering, how can I get that home for $700,000? Well, we're up here on the north side of Houston and we're in a neighborhood called Artavia and we're in their model home park. But Artavia is just one of the three neighborhoods that J. Patrick Holmes is building these 70 foot products in. They're also building in my neighborhood, which is Grand Central Park. And they're also building up in Willis, just about 10 minutes north of Conroe in the Woodlands Hills. And all three neighborhoods are phenomenal but they're all a little bit different. But before I tell you about the differences in those neighborhoods, let me just tell you this. My client is building a 4,400 square foot floor plan that we just went under contract on up in Grand Central Park, which is gonna be more expensive than Artavia, the neighborhood that we're in right now. And for 4,400 square feet, he's still gonna be right around 800 to $850,000, depending on what he picks in the design center. He backs up to a gorgeous, green belt he's elevated about 15 feet looking straight off into the trees just like my lot and he's well below that million dollar price point so if that's what you're looking for you're going to want to stay tuned because the next builder we're going to check out is even more customizable than this one but we're going to go we're going to sit down and we're going to tell you about the three different neighborhoods that they're building in if you loved that last home that we checked out you are going to absolutely love the one we're headed to here in just a second but I think it's so important when clients call us looking to move here that we explain to them that you're not just buying 
the home. You're buying the location, you're buying the community, you're buying proximity to things that are important to you. So let's start with the three communities we are talking about. We're in Artavia, which is where these model homes are that we're checking out today. Artavia is located right along Highway 242 and you're about 10 or 15 minutes from the Woodlands, Texas. Now we're up here at the Artavia Amenity Center. They've got a gorgeous lake with paddle boats. We're actually sitting down right now here at the splash pad, which I'm actually very jealous of. They've got tons of pocket playgrounds here in Artavia for the family to enjoy. And they actually have a really cool community event center up here. All three communities are gonna offer directors of fun that host different community events throughout the year. And so they're all gonna facilitate that kind of neighborly camaraderie and community. Now, all three communities are also gonna be golf cart friendly, which is really fun. You can take your golf cart around and drive up to all of the shopping. Now. Artavia and Grand Central Park are both going to be in Conroe ISD. It's not until you're up at the Woodland Hills that you're actually in the Willis School District. Now, Artavia, it's the one out of the three master plan communities that doesn't have a pool. I don't even think they have one in the works. I don't want to promise that. So you do need to sign up knowing, hey, there's no community pool here where Grand Central Park and the Woodland Hills, they both have pools. Now, the location I like here, it's the closest of the three communities over to the airport, and you also have pretty good access down to Highway 99. So if you do wanna get in and out of Houston, you're gonna have direct access to some major freeways. Now, Grand Central Park, on the other hand, is where I have lived for about five and a half years, and the lots that they're offering over there are gorgeous. They're some of the prettiest lots that we're going to see in today's video. But what I love about Grand Central Park, not only is the community amazing, I've lived there for so long, but the amenities are second to none. I think out of the three, all three offer tons of gorgeous trees, but Grand Central Park, in my opinion, has the best nature component because it was Camp Strake for over 75 years. It was a Boy Scout camp. And so the nature beyond just the trees, but the actual, the lakes that it has to offer. They've got an 88 acre lake, a 12 acre lake. They've got tons of crushed gravel nature trails that actually go back through the woods. You also have the fitness and amenity center right up. It's called the lake house for good reason. You've got the pavilion for community events and then you've got multiple parks located throughout the community. But Grand Central Park takes the cake when it comes to location. It is located directly off of I-45 right in Conroe and it has the best commercial shopping probably out of any of the communities in Houston. And the commercial shopping still isn't completed yet. They're still developing. In fact, when you reach out to us and work with us, our office is located in Grand Central Park. So it's right along the freeway. We can literally take the golf cart, pick you up, show you around all of these amazing homes. And so Grand Central Park takes the cake when it comes to location. Um, proximity in and out of downtown because you're on the freeway is about 45 minutes, really not that bad. And you're pretty close to Lake Conroe too, which is really good if you like boating here in the summertime. And last but not least, you've got the Woodlands Hills. Now, out of these three options, the Woodlands Hills, it really is very, very pretty. And what people love about the Woodlands Hills that's different than Artavia and Grand Central Park is the Woodlands Hills lots, they actually have seven feet of preserve along the backside before your fence of every single lot, which means they actually have more trees on your actual lots, not just behind your lots, than any of these other communities. Here's what I will say about the Woodlands Hills lots. The Woodlands Hills lots, they're gonna be 70 foot products. And these products are on heavily wooded lots, meaning they haven't even cleared them yet. And so whenever I was over there driving just last week, you've got two cul-de-sacs, they're all 70 foot. And they actually have a lot of elevation change on these lots, meaning um, you're probably gonna need to do some kind of retaining wall work. And so when it's all said and done, they're gonna look gorgeous, um, but you are gonna have uh, they're not just perfectly flat lots. You're gonna have some topography to them, but you're probably gonna get the most trees up in Woodlands Hills. And the amenities in Woodlands Hills are truly second to none. Got a great gym, fitness center. They've got splash pads as well. Um, really cool parks, totally different aesthetic than the other communities. And Jay Patrick is building up there and they've got some amazing incentives on their homes. I will say this before we head on over to this next house, these lots are going quick. They just released these sections and I'm not kidding, they've probably sold half the lots already. So by the time this video is posted, if this interests you, this isn't some fake rush. Like we're making this video because these lots are selling like hotcakes and there's only so many of them in these master plan communities. Like I said, if they were building these when I was building my home, I absolutely would have jumped on them. Most of the stuff they build in these communities are the 50 and 60 foot products, but these 70s, I'm telling you, are so killer. So without further ado, let's go check out the fully custom builder. And this is that fully custom builder I was telling you about. And the first thing you notice when you walk up is this home's actually wider. It's 10 feet wider. This is an 80 foot 
model home. They're gonna be building in Artavia on 80 foot lots only, and they're gonna be building in Grand Central Park on 70s and 80 foot lots. Now, fully custom, you can pick everything out. So this model home, nobody's seen it before. They haven't built it before because it is fully custom. Now, let's go inside and check it out. But just so you know, we make these videos for you guys. We would love it if you are looking to move to Houston. If you just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Like we said, we got clients under contract with both of these builders right now. And the first thing I noticed right when I walked up, check out this massive metal glass door. It even says, push the handle hard to open. There we go. Come on in, I, I love it. You can tell that this is definitely an upgraded feature. Let me get it fully closed, put my sunglasses up. We can check this home out. Right when you walk in, what I love is this is a one story and it's very wide. Um, it's nice wide hallway. You got the real wood floors, 10 foot ceilings, and you got your home office right here. This is where the salespeople typically office out of, but you've got a cool barn door on this one, the black windows as well. And I actually like this. You have like a little art nook right here. I don't know exactly what that guy is, but it's pretty cool. You got a bedroom also up here at the front of the house, and these bedrooms are massive. And check out that closet. It even has its own window, bigger than the last. And then you also are gonna have an ensuite bathroom all to yourself over here, which is really nice, really well appointed right up here at the front of the home. And then let's go in and let's just check out how this home opens up. So as you come in this hallway, you got a really cool half bath and check this out, Keith, you've got a floating sink. So that is super cool. But this is what people love about Jamestown. We've been in their model homes over in High Meadow Estates and a couple other places, and they just always have these huge open living spaces, which I absolutely love. You got this really cool chandelier, you got the kicked up cathedral ceilings, and uh, you got the cast fireplace. And look, this isn't actually, this is a gas fireplace. This is what I like. This is what I would want if I was building a home, but plenty of space, plenty of room. And check out those massive metal doors. Those things are substantial. These things are not cheap and these are going to completely open up the back of this home. Let's see if you can get both. Nope, I can only get one. There you go. So you got your back patio out here. This comes standard. Um, obviously it's fully custom, but I just mean that you can see that they have a nice cathedral ceiling on this one, which I really like. They got the speakers built in and then they've got the gas stub outs and the pre-plumbing so that you could build an outdoor kitchen with this home as well. And you can't forget this for golf season or college football. You've got your plugs to mount your outdoor TV as well, but I don't know if you can get it in camera, but just check out how nice these doors are. I mean, these things are the real deal. These things are not cheap either, by the way, but they're totally worth it. They really give that home that next level of wow factor where you know it's a fully custom home. And I love the color palettes that they went with in here. Um, this kitchen countertop is really unique. I actually haven't seen this stone probably ever. You got your farmhouse sink over here and check out this fridge. These appliances, these are definitely upgraded. It's kind of a whole new tier when you get over here into Jamestown into fully custom homes because you can actually build the home around your appliance package. And the one other thing too that I love about more expensive homes is usually they stock their model home fridges better. So there's more goodies for me when I'm actually out here filming. So Keith and I usually fight over the stuff. Um, coming this way, pretty good sized pantry. They got it staged with like fake fruit and bread, which is lovely. Plenty of cabinet space. They went with the two-tone cabinets, the white, the blue. And as opposed to the J. Patrick, you tell me in the comments if you like this or not. A lot of builders will go with the glass uppers with the lighting. These, I love that they took them all the way up to the ceiling, but they don't have the glass uppers. My wife probably wouldn't like the glass uppers because it's just one more thing to clean and have to dust off but tell me your thoughts. And then golly, this cooktop is sweet. Thor, that makes total sense. Thor is a really good brand name for a cool cooking range. And you got this awesome vent hood up here. I love how they wrapped this with the wood to kind of match the flooring. Looks great, looks really good. Now this, I was informed, Keith and I were arguing about it. He was like, you have to tell the people that this is a Texas sized dining room. And I was like, what does that even mean? But I guess here in Texas, we got Texas sized trucks, we got Texas drinks. So I guess it makes sense to have a Texas sized dining room. But what I really like about this area is how much light that it gets. Look at these, these black windows, bringing in a ton of natural light from the backyard. Now this is about a 3,700 square foot one story, which you really can't build one stories that big on smaller lots in these master plan communities. And so uh, it's really nice. I feel like they could easily fit this on these 80 foot lots. In fact, you could probably go up into the 4,000 square foot range just on a one story 
on an 80 foot lot. A 70, it might be a little bit tough. So I'm gonna show you in here really quick. You've got your laundry room. And then uh, I'm not gonna show you what's in that door because that's a surprise for here in just a little bit. Now, one thing that I noticed as we were going through this house, it's got solid core doors. So that's an upgrade um, that you're gonna have the opportunity to buy. Let's be honest, it's not free. You have to spend the money on it. But uh, whenever you get into custom home builders, having that solid core doors just makes the home feel more substantial. And guys, this is huge. This is a massive master bedroom. You got the 10 foot tray ceilings, black windows. This is a very modern feel. Very modern feel, king bed. And I love the color scheme in here. Look at these. They got the framed mirrors. You got your his and her vanities, but I like the, uh, I don't know, like a zebra print. Your freestanding tub. This one's not as big, but I actually like this one better than the J. Patrick, because like I said, that other one was so big. To just fill it up, you're gonna spend like, I don't know, like a hundred bucks. I don't know. Water here is not cheap. Let me tell you that. Uh, this shower is sweet. A lot of times when they do the shower, and the tub, I feel like they kind of cut you short on the shower, but that is not the case in there. That is a huge shower. And I am leaning more towards this bathroom than the J. Patrick, and I'll show you why here in a second. The closet is one of the reasons, because this is only one of the two closets, and so you get more closet space in this floor plan. And uh, come on over here, you get your Louis Vuitton, obviously. Um, but this is your second closet, and so you got a his and hers, you got plenty of space, but like I was saying, we were gonna wait to show you this door, but this connects through to the laundry, which these days uh, with these more modern floor plans, we're seeing it a lot, but I think it's a non-negotiable. I think you absolutely have to do that. And I showed you the pantry over there, that connects over into um, the garage, and then we're gonna go over this way, and I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite parts of this house. Right here, you've got your secondary game room. We didn't turn the music off, hopefully that's okay. Um, but James sounds good about this, having like a secondary living space here on the first floor. I think if you're gonna have a one story, you, you need that place to get away, especially if you're gonna spend uh, all this money, you really want that secondary game room and you get it. Once again, you got these kicked up cathedral ceilings, tons of natural light, absolutely love it. And then you've got your bathroom here, but your bathroom actually is gonna connect through over here to one of your other guest bedrooms. And so this is a four bedroom, one story, this is a bedroom. They've got a conference table set up in here for meetings and stuff, but this is your third bedroom. And then this hallway actually connects back through up into the living room over to the front of the house. And this is gonna be your fourth bedroom over here. Now with Jamestown, because they're fully custom, um, you really can see square footages ranging under 3000. Hold on real quick. There is actually one more bathroom here. Um, but you've got bedrooms from, I mean, you've got homes from under 3000 square feet and they're gonna be able to go all the way up to, I don't know, five, 6,000 square feet if you've got the budget for it. Now let's go in here and I'm gonna tell you about pricing. Now, as you can see, Jamestown is so customizable. That you're gonna spend a little bit more money, but at the end of the day, I've learned in building 10 times out of 10, you get what you pay for. And so Jamestown's process is different than Jay Patrick's and that's totally fine. You have to decide which one's gonna be a better fit for you. But what, what I've loved about building with Jamestown with my clients is how smooth the process has gone. And so, especially for out-of-state buyers, which we get a lot of, when they were able to sit down and meet with Jamestown, you would expect that a custom home builder in this price range would take a year to a year and a half to build. That's not the case. I've been blown away with how quickly Jamestown is able to deliver a really nice product. Their build times here in Artavia and Grand Central Park right now are about eight months from the time that we go under contract. And so things are gonna move really quickly and that's very fast for a fully custom home. And what's really, really unique and special about Jamestown that makes them different than a lot of custom builders is not only are they fully custom, meaning you sit down with their architect and you draw plans, but they actually don't charge you for it. I've never seen this with any other builders, but whenever we met and sat down with Jamestown for my clients to build their custom dream home, the process was free and it really was inviting and it really made my clients feel heard. And basically what they did is they listed out, you know, the 30 most important things that they wanted in a home in order of priority. And it could be things like, hey, I want a massive dining room that touches the kitchen or, you know, I want a three car garage, but I want two access points through it. And whatever it was, they were able to accommodate and they'd draw a plan, send it to my clients. My clients would say, can we tweak these things? And really after going back and forth just a couple of times, they were able to come up with the perfect home. And then they pretty much immediately started construction on it. Now, 
As far as price goes with Jamestown, um, they're smaller, least expensive homes in these 80 foot products here in Artavia and Grand Central Park. You might be able to get in in the high 700s, but most people are gonna be building in the mid to high eights all the way up over the million dollar price point. And so yes, you can spend more than a million dollars with Jamestown, but if your budget's a million or under, you're still gonna have plenty of options. You should be able to see build this home as you saw it for well under a million dollars right here in Artavia. And so the sky's the limit. Like I said, the lot opportunities are different between the different neighborhoods and you're gonna pay um, different lot premiums depending on whether or not you're on a more premium lot. And those are gonna be something that the developer um, charges the builder and they're just gonna pass that cost on to you. But one thing that I've learned from having an amazing lot in a neighborhood uh, is it really is ideal when you can just sit here and look out those back windows or these black, you know, massive sliders and see into the woods. It just changes your experience when you're living in the home. So like I said, they are going fast. And so be sure um, to jump on them if you're interested. And we actually have full vlogs on all three of these neighborhoods. So if you wanna know more about the communities themselves, be sure to click on these vlogs right here. They're gonna tell you everything that you could possibly wanna know about the neighborhood. But if you're interested in these, do what our clients did. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you pick the perfect builder, get one of these amazing lots, and help you make your smooth move right here to Houston, Texas.